40 minit pagi untuk anda semua yang sentiasa bersama kami dan uh, kita nak maklumkan mengenai Afiat Lifestyle ini ha. antara segmen yang kami bawakan pada hari ini uh, selama setengah jam uh, bersama dengan Olive House okay? ya, dan ha. setiap saban minggu kita akan bawakan pelbagai tips kesihatan terbaik untuk anda dan juga nasihat-nasihat dari pakar dan untuk memulakan segmen pagi ini we have one special guest all the way from Morocco mm-hmm. Omar Garibi uh, yang merupakan uh, seorang uh, pakar uh, sains dan juga nutrisi mm-hmm. yang terkenal dari Maghribi so we would like to welcome the honorable uh, professor Dr Muhammad Faid all the way from Morocco Assalamualaikum prof Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh كيف حالكم الحمد لله كيف في زيارتك في ماليزيا الحمد لله جميل جميل جدا جدا الحمد لله الناس الناس طيبين so kind people here in Malaysia and uh, we are happy to have you here uh, for discussing we have one uh, about great uh, or good topic about uh, islamic diet, diet. Yeah. Ah, ah. dan pagi ni uh, prof dr faid akan ceritakan tentang apakah yang disebutkan sebagai diet islami mm-hmm. macam mana caranya dan pengambilannya mm-hmm. and for our muqaddimah or introduction can you explain in brief what is islamic diet and why and when we should practice <laughs> in rather than any other diet uh, prof Ya, yeah, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. The, uh, this um, Islamic diet, uh, so I didn't uh, tell it because it, 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 it exists in our Quran and Sunnah. Yeah. And uh, we should explore it from the Quran and Sunnah. That's because it's the right one, the right diet. Now, why the many diets being described to and advised to people, recommended, mm-hmm. like vegan diet, like yeah. vegetarian, low-carb, yeah. casein-free, gluten-free diet, so uh, keto, ketogenic ketogenic diet uh-huh. and, and a lot of them then the people are now getting lost you know, among all these uh, diets so i i thought to um, uh, explore this diet from quran that uh, because i was seeing that a lot of things are going against uh, some things which are not banned in our islam and they are banned by some doctors like uh, meats in the vegan diet like casein Uh, also and um, uh, and gluten uh, in the uh, casein free gluten free diet and some proteins also are banned in the mm-hmm. ketogenic diet mm-hmm. and this is it's against our our quran mm-hmm. uh, we ban what all the kinds banned by our god in quran yeah. uh, and, and uh, uh, this uh, this islamic diet the first point is uh, to not eat uh, to not eat haram food Yes. We should eat only halal food. This uh-huh. is the, the first point in this yeah. Islamic diet. Mm-hmm. And it's, uh, it's a very strong point that because uh, a lot of disease now are, are coming from the swine meat and also the swine byproducts that because there are many ingredients are, um, are extra uh, processed from meat, uh, uh, swine meat yeah, or uh, some fat from meat so yeah. like lard and like some frying wires or some uh, fatty matter use it now in uh, in in processed in processed foods uh, we should not ban things that are not banned in quran and sunnah but uh, our uh, islamic diet is the right one because it's uh, it's based on halal food in clean food and also on f- healthy food yeah. uh, look uh, uh, in this diet the f- processed wise Uh, refined wise are not are, are banned in the diet that because our islam uh, recognize only the natural products and the healthy products yeah. uh, because we we talk uh, about tayyib uh, and uh, khabith mm-hmm. and all uh, all the allowed foods in quran and sunnah are tayyib yeah. uh, we should eat only uh, good things Halal and healthy tayyib, foods right? yes tayyib mm-hmm. is healthy foods mm-hmm. And khabit is bad foods. It, it's yeah. uh, polluted or dirty foods. And uh, in this khabit, we find the, uh, the haram, the non-halal foods, like mm-hmm. the non-slaughtered animals or swine or uh, uh, meat. And so all, uh, uh, all the animals not prepared by the Islamic way. And yeah. I, we, don't, we, don't, we should evoke the name of God first. And we should uh, do it in the right way and, and as fastly as possible, Toby. The second point in this diet is fasting. Mm-hmm. 
Mm. Uh, do you know? <laughs> and yeah. the, and the, these two these two points uh, are uh, you cannot find them in other diet. So oh, yeah. uh, and there is now diet now uh, based on fasting. But some uh, some doctors now in the United States or uh -huh. any other countries are now recommending starvation. <laughs> yes, or intermittent hours, yes. 12 hours of starving. Yeah, or intermittent fasting. Yeah. yeah. But we have fasting, Islamic fasting. Uh -huh, yes. <laughs> our right way to, to fast, we know it. And uh, our Prophet sallallahu alayhi Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam recommend us to fast two days a week at least. At yes. least, uh, yes, at it's least. not a maximum, but it's a minimum. Right. <laughs> if you can do more, it's okay. The more the better. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, also ash Ashura uh, fasting, Ashura Tasu'a and Ashura two days. And uh, fasting uh, as uh, um, uh, most uh, most than two days a week in Sha'ban, and we so we fast also Shawwal uh, after Eid al-Fitr after Ram after Ramadan. We mm -hmm. fast six days at least. At least it's a minimum. <laughs> some some scholars are talking about the six day, but it's a minimum. Yeah. It's not a maximum that we can fast more. So in this way, we will make you um, about three months a year mm -hmm. fasting. And yep. you cannot contract any disease with this diet if you oh, fast. No. That's uh, too much energy for the, for the body is, is very bad. It's uh, the ob now ob obesity with cardiovascular diseases, with mm -hmm. hormonal hormonal dysfunction in ladies and with gallstone. And uh, with a lot mm -hmm. of problems now are due to too much food, stuff in the stomach with, the, with this food. The third point is moving. Mm -hmm. is moving is very strong in our day so uh, halal food the first yeah. point is halal food second fasting yeah. and third moving and these three points if you can notice something that they are just to uh, uh, cut down to, mm -hmm. to reduce the energy in the body so, oh. but, and if you reduce this energy you cannot contract any any diseases like like me i didn't see a doctor in my life I haven't seen a doctor in my life, uh -huh. and I haven't eaten a medicine, or I didn't. Uh -huh. <laughs> I don't use medicines. If you got headache, and, 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 what my do you and my children, if I get headache, I get a rest. Uh -huh. <laughs> I get a rest, and I drink water, warm oh. water, oh. two cups of drum water. I get a rest, and it's okay. <laughs> but uh, uh, but uh, uh, people should should uh, withstand a little bit the the pain. Yes. When you have a pain, you should not go. Uh, 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 every time we, you feel a pain, you go to the doctor. Yeah, yeah. And you should also uh, feel this pain, and uh, also you should uh, read some Quran, uh, read some Quran, and thank to your God and ask your God, inshallah, shifa. It's better because uh, you, um, potato is abtila because uh, the yeah. God wants want to remind you. Yeah. <laughs> and this is very good. This uh, we should teach this, this, this learning and this uh, idea and uh, this, oh, everything now is uh, mentioned in described in our Quran and Sunnah but mm -hmm. we are not exploring it we are not teaching it to people yes and we should communicate with people and show them this uh, if you can use it it's okay if you cannot use it it's okay mm -hmm. okay but I think that it's good for you and all good things for people that they should follow them and should use them because we are now uh, in in um, um, the more the modern by the modern uh, uh, dieting with the modern food with mm -hmm. the process with the, the sophistication of some techniques for the production of foods and so on and we are getting some diseases diseases only by eating too much mm -hmm. only by eating too much and yeah. other diseases by mixing food and others by eating by night Okay. Yeah, and and this this diet now 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 in now food in right. diet now food in it because our God mentioned in Quran, uh, mm -hmm. and the, the the night is for getting rest and for sleeping, not for eating. Mm -hmm. uh, and these things not they are not new, but mm -hmm. we we just explore them from Quran and we extract them for That's our Quran, right. and to put this to people and to tell people about this. Yes. Just to remi remind them, the Muslims now, all, all Muslims now this, but we have to remind them, just to remind them and just to uh, encourage them and to, uh, uh, lead, to lead them to a, a, a right way for in, in, in life in for, for all the other. Uh, 
Yeah, that's a good mukadimah about the Islamic diet. Uh, when uh, Prof. Uh, Dr. Faiz said that uh, everything uh, has been written in Al Quran Al Karim. Allah dah bagi <laughs> jelas dan tegang tentang apa makanan yang halal perlu kita cari, mm-hmm. jauhkan yang, ha- yang haram. Lepas tu tentang yang kedua uh, puasa juga mm-hmm. membantu kita untuk membantu kesihatan kita. Ya, betul. Uh, macam Prof. sebut tadi minimum dua hari seminggu kita mm-hmm. ni dua hari seminggu pun <laughs> tak jumpa jumpa lagi nak puasa. Eh. <laughs> Payah nak puasa. Dan ketiga banyak lagi cara uh, dapat apa dapatkan rehat yang cukup dapatkan hmm. uh, amalan-amalan uh, kehidupan kita yang membawa kepada kesihatan kita. Kejap lagi kita akan sambung pula. Yeah. Uh, what are the best practices especially in Islamic diet uh, prof mm-hmm. to 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 help us preventing uh, diabetes, hypertension and all other rare diseases in, in nowadays uh, prof yeah. uh, you may help us with uh, some of the uh, advices insyaallah. Yeah. But uh, mm-hmm. we going to have uh, to take a break for a while mm-hmm. and we yeah. we will be back for more InsyaAllah afterwards Okay yeah, Alright Okay, okay. Terima kasih seketika Dan terus saja bersama kami Hanya di Warna Pagi Ikim. Inspirasi Infodia Info Islami Sukar untuk mendapatkan Produk-produk keluaran IKIM di pasaran Kini layari www.ikimniaga.my Untuk mendapatkan buku-buku CD, DVD keluaran IKIM Serta perkhidmatan perundingan Dan sebagainya Hanya dengan satu klik Produk IKIM menjadi milik anda Layari www.ikimniaga.my Hari ini Aura 6 sendi urutan Melayu lama tahun 50-an. Bonda abadikan dan perkelangan semula di rumah hutan sebagai rawatan alternatif. Ikhtiar untuk mencari kesembuhan memperbetulkan urat saraf penekanan titik meridian dan limfatik. Lihat pakej urutan dan baca betul-betul pakej apa yang sesuai untuk anda di rumahhutan.com. Ada urutan untuk lelaki dan wanita serta kanak-kanak. Untuk wanita, jangan terkeliru bila ambil pakej di Wikumangi, ada spa dan meditasi. Meditasi tujuannya untuk pengubatan orang yang ada masalah saraf, sendi dan bahagian penting kewanitaan. Spa di Wikumangi pula di rumah hutan bonda sangat berbeza dengan mana-mana spa di seluruh dunia. Inilah satu-satunya spa yang menggunakan ratus serba secara penguapan dinamakan rawatan tangan serba yang boleh membantu untuk masalah dalaman wanita. Uniknya spa ini berada di bawah tanah dan ada rendaman kaki menggunakan batu gunung berapi. Anda boleh follow IG Rumah Terapi Alam untuk tempahan lebih mudah layari rumahhutan.com untuk WhatsApp 016-771-9343 atau 013-287-2133 Wah, Siti sekarang tak lekang dengan senyuman. Apa rahsianya? Bukan rahsia lagi. Sejak saya amalkan pati minyak Zaitun Olive House, terasa lebih segar. Rutin harian pun tak terganggu lagi. Cukup dua sudu sehari tanpa kolesterol, sarat dengan khasiat semula jadi. Oh, pati minyak Zaitun Olive House, ya? Yeah. Kena cuba ni. Hubungi kami di telefon 013 5157 atau layari olivehouse.my Parti Minyak Zaitun Olive House Pencetus Senyuman Semula Jadi Ingin anak cepat membaca? Bonden No Resources memperkenalkan Kaedah Membaca Express I dan Express I Reading Kaedah mudah untuk belajar membaca bahasa Melayu dan bahasa Inggeris yang unik dan lain daripada yang lain Sungguh mudah dan ekspres Kini belajar membaca dengan Kaedah Express I lebih mudah dan menyeronokkan Belajar macam tak belajar Hubungi 019-993-3668 019-993-3668 Kota Kinabalu 93.9 Okey, okay, terima kasih kepada okay, anda yang masih lagi bersama kami di Ikim Inspirasi Inforia Islami yang pastinya kita berada dalam segmen Afiat Lifestyle yang dibawakan kepada anda oleh Olive House ah, yang mana kita bersama dengan tetamu kita pagi ini ya. ah, yang pastinya yang berbahagia Profesor Dr. Muhammad Faid yang juga merupakan ah, saintis terkenal dari Maghribi dan Aha. juga seorang pakar nutrisi. Juga ah. apa nasihat rasmi kepada Olive House untuk menjadi tuan rumah kita untuk segmen tajaan kita pagi ini ya, dan tadi sempatlah masa off air kita cerita dengan Prof ah. macam mana orang kita ni tengah-tengah malam during midnight Uh. We spend a lot of time uh, besides chatting. We also have uh, menus like curry, like uh, roti canai, like teh tarik, teh yes. tarik, and another teh tarik. Yes. During midnight. Mama, 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 please, uh, uh, bro. So, uh, uh, how do you think uh, if Islamic diet can help us preventing mm-hmm. all other diseases like uh, like cardio, uh, apa, uh, diabetes, yes. hypertension, yeah. heart diseases? Yeah. Yeah, uh, it's pre- it's for preventing diseases. Mm-hmm. When when you eat good and healthy foods, mm-hmm. you are uh, automatically preventing all all diseases, yeah. all the diseases. And uh, and the most of the uh, uncured or terminal diseases in the Occident now are due to uh, too much eating yeah. meats 
and dairy products mm -hmm. and also carbohydrates, sugars. You know? mm -hmm. uh, when you, you join sugar with fat with, from animals, that you will get uh, the, the, the acidosis, the acidosis syndrome. Oh. And acidosis syndrome is the base of many diseases. Oh. So in this diet, we cannot get acidosis. Oh. Uh, it's impossible to get acidosis. That's because of c cutting down or reducing the energy and not uh, mixing foods. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. a special thing that uh, our Prophet Sallallahu oh, well, recommend us to not mix food, to not eat uh, by night, uh, to not eat uh, uh, meals after meals. Mm -hmm. That you, you, you should eat only when your stomach is empty. Mm -hmm. is, uh, 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 is is really empty. So, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so and, and this is a uh, this is a very is a golden rule in medicine now in modern medicine that to not uh, to not eat too much food, to not mix food, to not mix at any time, and and so on. They, uh, they exist, but we are we are we are now harmonizing mm -hmm. uh, all these diets and uh, going through uh, Quran and Sunnah just to ma to uh, to delete what it's what it's what it's bad, mm -hmm. and to keep what it's good. And Quran uh, has uh, kept all good things from Jahiliya. Yeah. Okay. He, he has introduced and corrected a lot of bad things and bad habits also and some bad uh, all the, the behavior of of of, um, of people yeah. uh, uh, towards uh, uh, each other at uh, all the good things he he has uh, um, uh, not corrected but he has respected it yes. and, uh, and he the Quran mentioned that all good things in Bible mm -hmm. he mentioned Bible Quran mentioned Bible mm -hmm. and recognized all good things in Bible yeah. so and uh, if we go through our Quran not only in nutrition not only in, in food science mm -hmm. but in all the science and in all our, our, our life we will not be sick not one only physiologically but also psychologically <laughs> it's, it's very important and this food is also for psychology because a lot of um, people now are getting depression yes yep. and depression is also from food oh. and some hyperactivity in children Mm -hmm. Hyperactivity in children come from some coloring materials used in soft drinks, in candies, in chewing gum, in, mm -hmm. and a lot of th that they use uh, 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 some yellow or orange or red oh. uh, uh, dyes or mm -hmm. colors, artificial, artificial chemical artificial. chemical dyes, and these are responsible of the hyperactivity in children. Yes. And also the, the, some materials coming from fried foods, yes. uh, fried foods like crylamide, and a crylamide, mm -hmm. when you join a crylamide with dyes, mm -hmm. you get hyperactivity in children. Oh. And so, and in the children. occidental countries, they are not suffering from the, these uh, hyperactivity in, in children. Mm -hmm. uh, too much meat, too much dairy products, and less vegetables, less fibers from vegetables, mm -hmm. you, get, you get hypertension and cardiovascular diseases, and also some colon, like the irritating bowel syndrome, the IBS, mm -hmm. is due to too much meat and mm -hmm. less vegetables, less fibers. So, uh, anemia, the iron now, anemia throughout the world now is very known, but mm -hmm. anemia is not due to the lack of iron in foods, mm -hmm. but it's uh, to the absorption of, of, uh, of iron and so uh, uh, some enzymes which uh, is not function inside your body and also to the poisoning by some heavy metals like lead. Uh, if you are poisoned by lead, you have anemia. And mm -hmm. so, and uh, we and and we also wait uh, when we when you don't move, you get anemia. When you don't move, you get uh, some some anemia, mm -hmm. and you get some uh, obesity and too much food in your body. Mm -hmm. So uh, all these things, you know, that Quran is uh, for living with. Mm -hmm. uh, Quran is for dunya. It's it's for now, for our life, not for akhirah, not for the last day. Yeah. Because in the paradise there is no, the, we don't, we will oh, not need yes. Quran. Yes, we not yes. need Quran. We need it now in, oh. in the, to, to work yes. with and to see, to check everything in our life by by the Quran and to control and to monitor our our life yes. and uh, all the, the whole life, not only uh, the health. That uh, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala wants us to be healthy. Yeah. Yes. So. He wants us to be healthy, and the Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the prophetic medicine, the prophetic medicine is just to avoid diseases, not to cure diseases, mm. it's to avoid diseases, and uh, a lot of recommendations and so of uh, uh, prophetic teaching uh, in Quran and in Sunnah, uh, how to use Quran, was explained by our 
prophet and uh, our teacher prophet yeah. muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam how how to do things and how to use uh, things and 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 how to live yes. so uh, uh, healthy uh, healthy about healthy physiologically should be strong al mu'min al qawi khair min al mu'min al da'if and also psychologically that because we need our 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 brain we need uh, this uh, uh, our 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 psychological state uh, for working for learning for recitating quran and also for ibadah for praying our god yeah. so itu ah itu gambaran ah tadi hmm. prof cerita tentang macam mana lelaki seseorang yang uh, kuat itu lebih baik daripada orang yang lemah dan uh, it's already been proven that whatever practice by Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam is diet uh, is proven beneficial for life and we must follow what Rasulullah has practiced previously yeah. and uh, we have our sister Zurina Yasin she she shares that uh, her family practice uh, minyak zaitun olive oil for which is uh, 30 times antioxidant better than uh, minyak zaitun biasa katanya oh okay uh, can you share the benefit of uh, olive oil in one shot one minute uh, uh, prof yeah but this is the surprise uh -huh. the surprise is this diet uh -huh. uh, recognize only olive oil mm -hmm. yeah only olive oil only olive oil only only only, only okay. olive oil uh -huh. the other oils are not recognized in this diet because they are refined and processed oh uh, olive oil is not refined it's extracted directly from the olive bees olive fruits uh, it's uh, we pre pressurized the fruits are milled and pressurized and we get directly the oil without any adding anything and without refining without doing anything mm -hmm. And there is a clear hadith of uh, Rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam of yeah. Prophet about about zait about uh, olive oil. Oh, kulu yeah. kulu bi zait wa dhanu bi zait. Mm -hmm. uh, and kulu wa dhanu is for eating and for cosmetics. Mm -hmm. Kulu wa dhanu uh, for hair, for skin, for a, a lot of things. And the, uh, you know, this uh, olive oil is uh, uh, is a staple food, is a staple ingredient in the Islamic diet. Yeah. So and if uh, we use only olive oil. It's impossible to get the cardiovascular diseases, and it's oh, impossible to get some the gallstone. It's impossible to get some the irritating bowel syndrome. Mm. So, and and this is also very important. Not only olive oil, but uh, we will see. Uh, we will mm. see that cereals also cereals oh. are, are are better also. than meat. Cereals yeah. in this diet are better than meat. Yeah. <laughs> we have many cereals like in Malaysia. We eat rice, but we in Morocco and uh, in other countries we eat wheat. Uh, so uh, in Morocco we eat all of them: uh, uh -huh. corn, rice, uh -huh. uh, wheat, and barley, and all of them. Cereals. Also oh. canary seeds. We have also canary seeds and some uh, some 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 grains. And uh, 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 olive oil. That uh, some now uh, uh, some recommendations about it. That some doctors are. Telling people to not cook with it. Yes, uh, if you if 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 it's used with with water, if you cook with it, man, with water, there is no problem. Uh -huh. oh. But if you can you cannot fry food in it, it, it cannot see. be used for frying food. Oh. <laughs> and the diet, the Islamic diet, doesn't recognize the frying. The frying the cook, cooking, by, cooking by frying, uh -huh. it doesn't. It's not uh, in, in, in in only cooking by by water and uh, um, um, mild cooking, uh, low cooking, not uh, not cooking too much food. Yeah. Yeah. Baik, uh, insyaAllah itu antara sedikit saranan atau nasihat uh, Prof uh, Dr Faiz berkaitan dengan macam mana nak gunakan minyak uh, zaitun dan manfaatnya uh -huh. memang semua tahu. Cuma Betul. ada perkara-perkara uh, yang perlu kita uh, maklum tentang minyak zaitun. Apa pun anda boleh ikuti perkongsian beliau bersama oleh Olive oil. Uh, hari ini di mana? Macam mana? Ada perkongsian? Ataupun anda uh. boleh pergi ke Instagram uh. Olive House. Eh? Ya, yeah, betul. HQ, eh? okay. Untuk maklumat lanjut uh, untuk hari ini. Terima kasih. Thank you so much, Prof. We are so sorry for our limited time today. We, and we hope to see you again, insyaAllah. InsyaAllah. In in Assalamualaikum. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Jadi perkongsian kita hari ini. Mm -hmm. Maafkan kami, Yati. Terlebih masa sikit uh, pagi ini. <laughs> Dan untuk segmen khas bersama Olive House hari ini. Yeah, Jumpa betul. esok, insyaAllah. InsyaAllah. Dan uh, sama itu, kita terus saja bersama kami di Warna Pagi. Itu. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi. Allahi wabarakatuh. Rancangan Afiat Lifestyle itu tadi.